Welcome back to Vesley Plays to the Moon. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be of more help. And that'll have to be enough. I... All that's left is to do is link your registered desire to go to the moon and your, to your early memories. And we'll pull the switch and... Voila. Voila. <laughs> You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you could alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeliness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way, and then when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely our read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again. That's enough. Oh, and don't be so sensitive. He's not really you now. If you truly believe that, why do you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Ah, uh, all of our night's work. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. <laughs> I, I'd ask if, if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. What I need to do is pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Okay. How, how would we go about this? Two matching mementos on the edges to trans. Okay. Well, they both have the plant. 
So... Yeah, only, only the plant's the same. Here we go. Nice. Oh. Okay, I see. Yeah. The plant has to be down here. So is this one. There we go. Because now we can use the bunny. Okay. Cool. And this one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. both have the book. That's the only similar one. Shit. Okay. Well? Hey Eva, check this out. Om nom 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 nom. Seriously? <laughs> there we go, okay. Now, I guess the... Wait, that... That bunny was double colored before, wasn't it? Oh no. Okay, but how do we, how do we do this one? Oh, this is frustrating. Oh, that worked? I don't know how that worked. But it worked. Okay, sure. Why not? Ding. That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me. Always ready. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hun. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Uh, where we go here? Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. <laughs> Soccer ball. It's a little too early. Let's enter a bit from further. See the results. Oh, uh, okay. This one? Okay, this one it is. Huh, I guess this part is still the same. Let's check it. Somewhere else. Okay. Let's transfer back with John and check. Okay. Sure. So should I check later? I guess so. Sheesh, the same thing here as well? Usually, there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Oh man, this is getting weird, isn't it? I wonder what's going on. the same too. Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. We need his last accept accessible memory. Okay. 
I guess it'd be this one, huh? This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff. Okay, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Just wanted to make sure. This is weird. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigma Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking about calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Yeah, it is the exact same. And Lily? Freeze him too. Oh my gosh. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there's any changes. You transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Ah. It's okay, Johnny. We'll figure this out. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Wow. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? <coughs> Did you see To the Moon? How was it? Eh, there's a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more... Oh, genie size koi. Can't say I'm familiar with that phrase, but okay. Mm, oh yeah, I have to leave through here, don't I? To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired. And hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Uh, sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. It's all the same. I have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Excuse me. Hey. Thanks. Perhaps something here could work. Are 
are you guys doing here? It's starting, let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. <laughs> hey, don't squeeze! Let's check. What's changed? Oh, this is interesting. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is... <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> May I have your attention, please? As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. <laughs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that enough, with enough will, everyone has the potential. Could be you, or you, or perhaps you. I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're just in... wait. What? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even in a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. <laughs> Awkward stare down. Wow, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Oh man, yeah. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Ah, <laughs> uh, Good old Neo. Well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was a blatant enough for this. Hmm, I did try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well? Hmm. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford... But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! Oh my god. <laughs> Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we rarely have... Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true, for, bo for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding, good for you. But here's a riddle. 
Guess where you should go for your honeymoon? That last one was nice. I like that last one. River? Tag Nabbit. Glass. Slippery. Johnny! Cha! Cha! What the cucumber? I gotta start using that phrase. Whew! You know what? This just isn't working. It's, it's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for a job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known we'd be, it'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Yeah, the sun's rising. You don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Let's go find out, shall we? Bird. Hello to you too. Hmm. Oh, you can smell that squirrel near ran over. All the way from here now. <laughs> way to lighten the mood. What a wonderful house. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better... Be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. No, I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes. 
I'll throw you in after. Now shh. Wait, isn't this... Where did you find it? In the lighthouse, before we started. Now, for the last time, shh. Yeah. Hmm. Well... I get... Do we go to the lighthouse? I don't know. I guess so. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Okay. Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Sure. Uh, maybe another year. Yeah, okay, that's probably a good idea. Doesn't seem that good. Maybe I should talk to you. Let's talk. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, is there something you wanted to ask? You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children though, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to develop, to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up. But it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays, they'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. <sighs> oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get a chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Hmm. Come on, Neil, I hope you have something for us. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. 
Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging and accessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we... But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse as it, for me as it since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going to get some fresh air. Ahem, <laughs> forgot my coffee. Beta blocker, huh? Interesting. It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The road kill Eva, it smells. I know. It's your fault for running over it. What's going on? Children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory. The ones we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked in the brain's limbic system, Louis. Don't you see what this means? I'm... what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly, I've already done my part. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. There aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Yeah, it probably will. Do I have to go? Do I have to go get it? Okay, I'll go get it.
हाँ तेजाव <laughs> it's kind of the kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring a piece of germ infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. I at least make its odor controllable. That's probably a good idea. Where are you going? Hi. I gotta go take a leak. Okay. What a mess. The crash took everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Seed valve container. Now, to get some of that dirty roadkill. Okay. Uh, meh. Okay, let's go. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. We'll get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I... I gotta... Gotta go feed my digital pet. What? Yeah, do that. I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you? We got someone dying back there. What the potato is he up to? I have no time to check on him now. Potato, cucumber. Interesting terms. Interesting. So, when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Now, like I matter to your dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. That can't be good.